What is going on everybody, Aussie Shooter here and welcome back to another video. So as we all know there is apocalypse happening with the COVID-19 at the moment. So I thought of doing an awesome video series for you guys and that's going to be taking a look at some camping supplies in case you need to bug out of the city or the country and you need to go out bush and you need to be able to sustain yourself. So we're going to be taking a look at some products in the upcoming videos. But in today's video, the first product we're going to be taking a look at is this multi foldable shovel by adventure so this thing is really really handy to have to be able to uh, do lots of things that you may need when you're out in the bush now the uh features that it is it's a multi position locking handle uh, and head uh, single locking to screw shovel and handle in place uh, economically designed d shaped nylon handle so from the handle to the shovel is all nylon. There's no metal there. Um, heat treated carbon steel. So that's pretty good. So we're going to test the carbon steel out and see if it doesn't break. They do claim it to be carbon, but you know, sometimes they uh, lie about that. It's also got a cutting edge for sawing uh, tree branches. It's also got a nail remover, which is actually pretty interesting. I've never seen that on a shovel before. And uh, the total length of the shovel when it's fully uh, extended is only 59 centimeters. Uh, and it also contains a storage bag inside. So there's the back of the box for you. So let's take a look inside the box. I haven't opened it up just yet, but uh, let's have a look. Oh, yeah, that it does have a nice little sheath inside of it. That's actually pretty good. It's nice and, uh, nice and tough and durable. That's what you want. So to uh, fold the shovel out, all you have to do is pull the handle out like that. Pull it out just like that. Oh, hang on. Already having a bit of problems. Oh, there we go. And now we should be able to just screw that tight. Just like this. And voila, you have a shovel. Now that thing's actually pretty sturdy. It ain't uh, budging, so that's really nice. So as you can see, it's got the serrated saw edge here for cutting small tree branches. Right here at the front of the shovel, you've got a nail remover. So we're going to be testing that out as well as the saw blade out. See if we can't cut a small branch with it. Uh, and I don't think, no, it's not. Some uh, multi shovels actually have a blade here. So you can actually use it like a little axe uh, or a machete to clear small brush. But uh, this one doesn't. But also, as it said, it has a multi-function uh, locking handle. So what you mean, what that means is you can actually adjust the shovel to a different position. So that's position one for digging a hole. And if you want to dig a trench, you can actually position it like this and tighten the screw. And now you've got yourself a, a hoe. You make sure your hose, you've always got a hoe around because you always need them. Um, so anyway, let's take this outside guys and uh, test it out and see if uh, it doesn't break and uh, if it claims to do all the things it says it does on the box. So uh, I'll catch you guys outside. Alrighty guys, the first test we're gonna be doing is the nail removing test. So I've actually got this piece of board here that I've uh, nailed a heap of different size nails in here from, from big to small. So we're gonna test it out. I've actually also got it on my belt. It actually feels really nice and comfortable. It's actually not too heavy. So that's uh, something you want when you're out bush and you're walking around long distances. Let's try one of these big ones first. Oh, it's starting to struggle a bit with the big nail. There's a lot of flex in that handle. Well, it technically removed it but it did snap the nail so it didn't completely come out all right let's try a medium sized nail now all right well it's really struggling with the bigger nails all right, it didn't remove that one let's try a smaller one Well, 
top there we go with a bit of struggle uh, we managed to remove a decent size nail let's go to a even smaller one okay the small ones it has no troubles with easy has but these bigger ones It's uh, definitely struggled with the bigger ones and I did notice too, it's actually stripped a fair bit of the paint off the shovel and it's actually also made that even longer. Originally it was actually here and it's actually grinded it out to about there now. So uh, that was actually a bit interesting. So the nail puller doesn't remove bigger nails. It really struggles with them, but the smaller nails it does. But like I said, it did damage the shovel. So I don't know about that. Not to... Uh, not starting off good so far. All right, let's go ahead and uh, set up and test out this saw blade next. All righty, guys. Now we're going to be testing out the saw blade on a, you know, fairly decent sized stick. It's not too thick, um, but it's, you know, pretty medium. Probably about the size thickness as my thumb. So it shouldn't be too difficult to be able to do. Now, can we see this on camera? Now we can. All right, well, first of all, it is cutting, as you can see, uh, but it is very blunt. It's definitely not as sharp as what a traditional saw blade would be, but you probably could sharpen it. So, uh, with a fair bit of effort, we are making it through. All right, uh, there we go. Now, I definitely wouldn't want to try this on something thicker than this, because technically we didn't make it through. I sort of just snapped it there at the end, because uh, far out, that took a lot of energy and uh, effort. So yeah, definitely wouldn't rely on this saw blade uh, at all. I mean, if it's the only thing you got, uh, it will do the job, but uh, prepare to burn a lot of calories and uh, use a lot of energy just cutting a stick about this thick. All right, let's move on and test out the final test, which is going to be the shovel and uh, making sure our hoe is in line and uh, digs a nice line. All right, let's get into that. All righty, we're going to start off with it as just a general shovel and see how it goes. Well, but it seems to uh, perform pretty good uh, as a shovel, no problems at all. All right, let's go ahead and test the other ability out as a hoe. Oh, I don't want that to happen. All right, let's test this out. Let me just move the camera over here and we'll test out digging a trench. Make sure you've got your handle tight, otherwise it will slip. It still keeps slipping. Oh, it just went back to a normal shovel position. And it went back to a normal shovel again. So by the seams of it, this hoe feature is not working. Let me try it here. Let me just try one more time. It doesn't work here. This time we know it doesn't work at all. Well, it seemed to work that time, and that was on the very last adjustment. These other middle adjustments, it just kept on slipping and returning to a normal shovel. So um, let's go back inside, and uh, I'll give you my final 
opinions on this foldable shovel. Alrighty guys, my final thoughts on this Adventure shovel. I mean, for the price you pay, I also forgot to mention that at the start, this thing only cost $8. So for the price you pay for it, uh, it will seat you through um, a long-term uh, bug out shovel or survival shovel. I would not recommend it uh, if you're looking for something to put in your car in case you sort of need it, but don't really need it. This would be an ideal uh, thing. As you've seen, it did struggle a little bit here. The uh, paint did get chipped off the saw here, as well as uh, the nail remover did get a bit scratched up. Uh, and it did also get a little bit wider than it originally was. So that was a bit interesting. Um, the shovel feature was probably one of the most best working features on this shovel. That was the only thing that really did a good job. The uh, hoe, unfortunately, uh, she didn't work um, on the adjustments one and two. I don't know why it was doing that. On the final adjustment, we did manage to make it work, but the other one just kept on making it return to a original shovel. So uh, yes, I uh, do recommend it. Uh, maybe not as a long-term uh, tool, but something to have in your car or as a backup shovel for the price. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you guys hit that like. And uh, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for me too. And uh, we will be continuing on these survival tool uh, videos as well as uh, we're going to be doing some huts and stuff as well, you know, sleeping stuff. So uh, as always, guys, we'll catch you in that next one.